London. And Danger Mouse and Penfold are hotly pursuing the evil rocket slot. He's getting away, Chief! Not for long, Penfold. You've got to get up pretty early in the morning to outrun us. I'm not sure the rocket slot's got up at all today, Chief. Rocket Sloth, he's too fast. Oh, he's here. Fear not, old friend. I'll save us. Well, go on then. We free Penfold. Do you always have to wait until the very last moment? Well, I am famous for saving the day just in the nick of time. Morning, DM. Bad news. All over the world, high-tech inventions are being replaced by useless ones. Like that. Gross! Huh? Get to the bottom of it, DM, before there's no useful technology left. Blimey, this is really bad. Who could be doing this if only there were some clues? This Dial of Dummy was brought to you by Isenbar King Kong Brunel Industries. Oh. Chief, you don't think this has anything to do with Isenbar King Kong Brunel Industries, do you? Hmm. I'm starting to think it might. Taxi! Take me to the headquarters of Isenbard King Kong Brunel. Looks like we're on foot, Penfold. Activate Danger Nav. Chief, huh? uh. I think I've worked out where we need to go. Cool, Chief. He's a big fella. Well, his name is King Kong, after all. Steal yourself, Penfold. Oh. Huh. Hello, Sonny. Is your dad home? I am Isambard King Kong Brunel, the greatest inventor in the world! Of course you are. Oh, isn't he cute, Chief? I'm not cute, I'm a genius! Activate the flingy things! <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, we're being a little bit naughty, aren't we? A bit naughty. I am replacing every piece of technology in the entire world using my time machine. I suppose that is a bit naughty. You invented a time machine? <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing! If I didn't invent a time machine, then how did I travel back in time so there's another version of me standing behind you with a pair of nose cuffs? Nose cuffs? <laughs> Time machine, you say? You may be asking yourself just how I came to invent a time machine. It was ten to two on my eighth birthday. Haha, <laughs> your inventions are stupid. You won't laugh at my mega fist of justice! <laughs> when that clock hit me on the head, I suddenly understood the principles of time travel. Miss my genius. I've managed to free myself from my restraints, Ben. Well, jump on him then. Not yet, Benfold. Wait for it. Not the nick of time thing again. Behold, my time machine. I have been traveling through time to stop inventors inventing inventions, allowing me to replace them with my own inventions. Um, silly question here, but uh, why bother? Because mine are better! Just look at my computer tablet! A dancing tablet, perfect for, um... No, I can't think of anything. And you two are just in time. I always am. To witness my greatest triumph, preventing Benjamin Franklin from discovering electricity! <laughs> Without electricity, all the technology from the last hundred years will cease to exist. Like the electric tooth. 
toothbrush. Imagine having to use a non-electric toothbrush. But my invention will be better. There is nothing better than an electric toothbrush, you fiend. Chief, untie me and let's stop him. Quick, now's not the time for the nick of time. Wait for it. Not long now. Danger Mouse, Penfold. Not in plenty of time for a cup of tea, Mouse. This is exciting, isn't it? The time machine lands in June 1752, when Benjamin Franklin is about to discover electricity by getting struck with a half million volts of the stuff. Who says science can't be fun? <gasps> Not so fast, Brunel. Time, meet Nickel. Rock, blunt scissors. Cash it! We'll soon see about that! Meanwhile, moments earlier. Time, meet Nick. And let me guess, you're going to try the old paper wrap stone. Wrong! Paper wraps mouse! Even, well, earlier. Time, meet Nikov. Whoa! Never run with scissors! That's not fair! Cool! Well done, me! And so, today's episode ends with another brilliant victory for... Oh, come on! Make it stop! No! no! <laughs> oh, they appear to have blown Benjamin Franklin's mind. He'll never invent electricity now. Time to unleash my most incredible invention of all, the replacement for electricity. After him. Not all of you, just me and him. And so, if I've got this right, back in the present, in the parallel universe where Benjamin Franklin never discovered electricity, King Kong Brunel returns to his lab. I think. I mean, I don't really know. Let's get him, Chief! Wait for it. Oh. Say goodbye to electricity and hello to the electricity! <laughs> can stop me now. <laughs> Obviously, there's a few bugs to be worked out, but the honey is delicious. No, I don't like to say I told you so, Chief. Yes, you do, Penfold. But perhaps saving the day in the nick of time doesn't work when the other fellow has a time machine. That's it. You take that one, I'll take this one. Then follow me. <laughs> no, my beautiful machines. If only I had time to build another time machine. Wait a minute. Back in King Kong Brunel's classroom on his eighth birthday. What are we doing here, Chief? Brunel invented the time machine when the clock fell on his head. But that can't happen if I've got the clock. Fool! All that matters is that young me gets hit by a clock. Any clock! young fellow. Prepare to be struck by inspiration. I did it, Chief. I went back in time and invented the two-legged disc. Chief? A clock just in the nick of time. 